on us 6,000 GN bank staff to restore you know, the finances of GN bank oh, yeah. for us so that we also can get something to do to feed our dependents. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please, 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 Yes. Thank you. So, what are you saying about the, the petition? Oh, I'll send it. Don't worry. So, I'll send it. I'll send it. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Especially this the Ghana Bank and his team. The police and the Ghana Bank and his team. The police and the Ghana Bank and his team. The police and the Ghana Bank and his team. The police and the Ghana Bank Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Now, and I read. Your Excellency. A citizen appeal to the president to bring back GN Bank. I'm a former employee of, G, of GN Bank. I worked for the bank for eight years before its license was revoked in August 2019. My dream to work at the bank to build a model financial institution with a unique characteristic with cut short by the sudden revocation of the operation license of the bank. Even though some of us receive various sum of money as severance package through your government, through your government, gracious arrangement and concern for the employees, our current situation does not compare with our full-time employment with GN Bank then. I passionately appeal to your excellency as the father of the nation to consider all the factors, especially the plight of the former employees and our dependents and with the powers graciously vested and entrusted in you by the ordinary citizens such as myself with Papa Kudu Sapia to bring back GN Bank to restore our livelihood. GN Bank provided employment to over 6,000 workers before the onset of the financial sector crisis. I worked in a department called Micro Enterprise. The MEB had a workforce of about 1,750 mobile bankers. These mobile bankers were mainly, mainly part of the youth of Ghana with senior high school grad, uh, qualification. Many organizations would not employ graduates of the level of, 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 of the level, but GN Bank provided opportunity to those young people to provide a head start in life those who were able to uh, those who were able and interested to further their education were encouraged and supported by the bank they came back with higher qualification to assume higher position in the bank mr president today most of us remain jobless and our condition have worsened jn bank gave us a guarantee salary at the end of every month the company provided free of charge health insurance and life insurance scheme for us and our family members. In addition, we had an assurance of a better retirement with pension contribution, including an employee-sponsored provident fund. The customers we served were also not left out. GN Bank provided unique savings products that provided the highest interest rate of 9% on every savings account of, of, of any amount as low as 50 pesos. The unique model of GN Bank was to, was to build wealth for ordinary Guyanians and provide jobs and life improvement opportunities to many people in the city, villages, hamlets and markets. The shareholders always told us that our, our mission was to go to where other financial institutions were not willing to go. But GN Bank was there, a place like Pusiga, Kasa, Pusiga, Kasa, Wedana. Your Excellency, in line with the unique model of GN Bank, the employees work very hard.
to establish 300 branches of different size across the country. About 200 of these branches were built by our shareholders. Seriously, 200 branches were built our, by our shareholders. No bank has done some before. Now a bank is telling somebody to bring collateral, but the bank don't have, you know, an office which was built by what? By the uh, 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 shareholders. Our customers' businesses were also facilitated because we provided an avenue for suppliers and distributors to transact their business safely and conveniently. For example, we designed a special product that facilitated payment by traders to avoid the risk of being attacked by armed robbers on your on our on, on our highway. Seriously, when you go to when you go to Germany, there's a big market there. The women, our women. Those who are here, they put their money in uh, 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 in one of our branches, Makola, and they go there, they go to Germany to withdraw the money, to transact their business. But now, no bank want to go there. Other bank, other commercial bank don't want to go there, but GN Bank was there. GN Bank was instrumental in collecting and depositing sales proceeds for Goyo. Just imagine, for a government company, government company. GN Bank served a lot of communities with public and civil servants, but without a financial institution. You know something, when we go to Pusiga and other places, we have government institutions there, schools are there, hospitals are there. Now they don't know where to take their salaries, but controller was, was processing their monies, their salaries through GN Bank for them to come and take it. Now, for somebody from Pusiga take a car, truck, truck, to come to uh, Boko to withdraw his money. Also, GN Bank presented at many district capital with no financial institution with a nationwide reach. Example include Wichau in Upper West, in Upper West, Sibila in Upper East, Saboba and Willensee North, uh, um, Joropita and Adakuluwa in, in the Volta region, Busunya and others. Mr. President, I would also like to bring to your attention the sad state of some of the assets of the bank since the revocation of license. GN Bank buildings, vehicles, generators, generator units, air conditioning units, computers and office furniture have been left unattended for the past three years. I believe that in with in intervention, these resources could be put back to work to create an economic value for the youth and customers, the customers and the republic. Your Excellency, I recognize that the bank had operational challenges at the time which the regulator, that Bank of Ghana, perceived to pose a risk to the stability of the financial system. As layman point of view, as layman, as lay person, that's Philip Papa I thought there could be there could be a more progressive and human-centric approach than the regulator's action to collapse the GN Bank. I am very confident that Your Excellency will consider my humble appeal and restore the, the, the license of GN Bank to complement your burning desire to boost economic activity to create jobs for the teeming Ghanaian youth and bring prosperity to all. This action will also help to restore confidence in the indigenous Ghanaian entrepreneurs and the private sector as an engine of economic growth. Thank you, Your Excellency, in anticipation of a favorable response to this petition. May God bless our homeland Ghana and make our nation great and strong. Yours faithfully. Thank you. 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 Oh, my radical be my oh, a radical, sir. 
Mayakuma, to a yamo. Mobro for day. What kind of food is that? When I had a how you know, ah, about any more. I mean, Miss Sarah, they will get, sir. Yeah, how you know, yeah, that you know, ever yet. I don't see us, they were ready, Cassa. Why, I come.